Welcome to this lesson on mounting directories in Kali Linux. As an ethical hacker, understanding how to mount directories is very important. In a nutshell, mounting directories allows you to access various storage devices and remote file systems. To make this concept crystal clear, let's compare it with Microsoft Windows operating system. When you plug in a storage device like a USB drive in Windows, it assigns a drive letter, for example, drive D or E or whatever, and becomes instantly accessible through File Explorer. Similarly, when connecting to a remote network share like Samba, you can attach a folder in Windows to get the job done. Now, in Linux, things work a bit differently. Instead of drive letters, Linux uses mount points, which are simply directories. When connecting a storage device or accessing a network share, you need to mount it to an empty directory. So in this case, it links the device or network share to your system directory tree, allowing you to access its files as they were part of your local file system. You might be wondering about the practical applications of mounting directories in Linux. In other words, when do we use it, right? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Here are some common scenarios where mounting directories in Kali is beneficial. We can use it first in external storage devices to access files on USB drives, external hard drives, or SD cards. The second use case is network shares. It allows us to access shared files across local networks or remote servers using NFS or SMB CIFS protocols. Another example is ISO files, where we can mount disk images to access and manipulate content without burning to a physical disk. Mounting directories can also be used for encrypted partitions. In this case, we will be mounting decrypted file systems. We can also mount remote file systems to access files securely via SSH. Finally, we can implement custom file systems for cloud storage services like Dropbox or Google Drive. Demo time. In today's demo, I'll walk you through mounting a USB drive and a network share in Kali Linux. Let's dive in and get things done. All right, let's begin by exploring how to mount a USB drive. I already plugged in a USB drive to my Kali host. First, let's find the USB drive by typing the following command, fdisk tag l. This command will list all the available disks. Now, locate your USB drive based on its size and note the device identifier. In my case, it's slash dev slash sdb1. Next, create a mount point, which is an empty directory where you will access the USB drive contents. Replace the mount directory with your desired directory name. I will call it USB, which makes sense, right? Also take note that I'm creating this directory in the mount folder. Now let's mount the USB drive to the newly created directory. Replace slash dev slash sdb1 with your device identifier. And mount directory with the directory you created. 
The USB drive is now mounted and we can access its contents by navigating to the mount directory. All right, we're done with the USB part. Now let's mount a network share. To mount a network share, we will use the CIFS utils package. If it's not already installed, you can install it with the following command, apt update, which will update the repository on Kali Linux, and then apt install CIFS utils, which will install the tool itself. The techy will auto accept the prompt after we execute this command. Now let's mount the network share. Create a mount point just like before replacing the mount directory with your desired directory name. In my case, I will call it network share. Now it's time to mount the network share using the following command. The first part is mount minus TCIFS. Then we add the network share IP address, followed by the shared folder name. Then we specify the mount directory path that we just created on our Kali box. And finally, we specify the username and password for the remote shared folder. Here you go. Our network share is now mounted and we can access its contents by navigating to the mount directory. That's it. Now you know how to mount both a USB drive and a network share in Kali Linux.